How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave. I never say that, but I'm gonna do it this time. Welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Once again, I am using my phone for this particular video. I have one particular reason why. My computer is inaccessible at the moment. You can see it's light flashing on me, but I have to keep an eye on it for certain pieces of data going on to it right now. Um, but today I'm actually, that being said, today I'm going to talk about the difference, at least to me, the difference between being smart and being wise. There are probably many of you who find this video who are going, there's no difference, it's the same thing. No. Yes and no, actually. Here's the thing. And yes, I'm putting my legs up just cause my left leg is actually starting to kill me, so. Anyway, uh, the, different, the giant difference I see between being wise and being smart is being smart is what you're taught and you learn from it and you gain that knowledge through what you're taught. Whereas being wise is more based off of personal experience. For example, say, um, I, I've had friends come to me for psychological help before or relationship help because they know that I know a lot and I'm kind of over time, I've kind of personally, at least for myself, I've learned the best way for me to learn by experience is by, you know, inputting myself into scenarios, whether through fictional writing or through real life scenario, either of them work for me, but because in the long haul, I end up finding out that when I do these two things, when I give advice, I always end up being right. Well, almost always. Smart, wise or not, everyone's always bound to be wrong at some given point in time. That's another big difference between wise and smart. The smart try to prove themselves right constantly and are so persistent to the point where it just gets them in big trouble. Whereas the wise, well, they go off their own personal experience, as said before, and they'll like present their thoughts on the matters and go, if you don't agree, that's fine, but you ask for my help. So here's my help, here's my advice, that's all I can give you. Difference between being smart, again, another way of putting it is advice. The smart can't give advice. They can only give what they know as fact. Whereas the wise aren't there to present facts directly. They are there to present advice. I'm actually going to use one of my own personal examples. Um, well, actually it's kind of a category of examples. A lot of times when I struggle with particular life aspects, I usually go to my dad for that kind of help. He has gone through so much educational experience, so he could be considered smart under that front. But at the same time, when it comes down to life experience, He's always my go-to person because he know he always seems to know exactly what to say. That's kind of where I got the inspiration to try to find figure out what to like learn what to say under specific scenarios. The most I've always seemed to know about because I've had a guy a gigantuous is that a word? It may or may not be. I'm not certain, but I ginormous. Let's go with that term. I've gained a ginormous amount of experience over two things, mental fronts and relationships. When I say mental fronts, I mean neurology, psychology, this kind of thing we're doing right now, these discussion rants videos, the whole process of just getting your mind moving over specific matters. And because of this aspect, I've been able to help more people out, or at least attempt, confident that I'm correct. And when they listen, they prove that I am. When they don't, 
they technically also prove it just for one reason. When they listen, they get down a path that they needed to go down. Whereas when they don't, it doesn't go so smoothly. A good example uh, that I can give off of that is that there's a there's someone I know who lives in the complex with me, this apartment complex. He doesn't live in the same apartment as me, but he is a neighboring um, acquaintance of mine, and he's come to me to help come to me for help several times. One of said times, he com- I he asked me for sp- like what to do under specific fronts. I'm going to be very vague about it. I'm not going to say the details because that is not for me to say anyway. Um, it's completely confidential, but I gave him my advice and he didn't really listen. And in turn, because of this, the events that happened led to him struggling, led to him finding it very, finding himself in a very difficult predicament. However, re- more recently, he actually came back to me and asked for advice, and I warned him about the events and said, look, if you don't take this kind of advice too hard, I'm not saying I'm smart, I'm not saying that I'm going to be right, and that th- good things are going to happen off of this, that's not what I'm saying, but if you don't take these things at least to heart, bad things will happen. I can't guarantee good things will happen if you do actually take it to heart and, you know, act on what I've said. I'm not guaranteeing that good things will come off of that, but it'll be better than if you don't. It's like what a parent does for a child. Parents are very wise. That's why they, that's, they use their knowledge in being wise to care for their kids that's why the rule a lot of the time a lot of the times when a kid lies to their parents and the parent you know will say it's a first time thing they'll go it's okay but keep in mind that it's always better to tell the truth and it's never wrong because it's more frustrating to anybody who finds out about a lie um, and then finds out the truth for themselves rather than the person themselves being honest and telling them. I've experienced both ends of this conundrum, and yeah, both on either end, it's always better to tell the truth. But that's not the point of this video. That's just kind of a prime example leading one example to another. But the end point to mind is that Being wise and being smart are not the same thing. A lot of people take it as it is, but it's not. Now, a smart person would say something like, just as kind of final comparison examples, a smart person would say, two plus two is four. That's just an outright fact. And I mean, I guess that's not smart. Think of a bigger math equation. I just don't want to right now. Um, But I guess, no, let's put it this way. A smart person would say pi is 3.14159265. And yes, that's true. Except they probably have a bigger number. Because that's just like the easier way to remember it. But the number actually just keeps going. That would be the smart thing to say right there. Wise thing to say thing to say under that kind of front would be like say somebody's asking for this kind of answer the smart thing would be to say what i just told but the wise thing would be to say study it's better for you to study because then you're learning yourself rather than hearing from other people those are probably that's probably one of the better comparisons to make when it comes to wise versus smart A lot of people are wise in this world, and it's very commendable. I go on YouTube all the time because a lot of the people on YouTube, as stupid as a lot of them like to act for the sake of entertainment, 
almost none of them are actually that way. Almost every single one of them are wise down to the bone. And it surprises me, but at the same time, it it's very commendable. A lot of people try to act that way by trying to act smart, and that's where things kind of get a bit iffy. Big take out of this is just don't... In my perspective, smart and wise are not the same thing. Try to be wise more than smart. It would benefit a lot more people. Now, being smart isn't being frowned on by me, but a lot of the times in life, when people try to act wise, they're actually acting smart, and that's how they see it. So they're trying to act smart in turn in their minds when what they're seeing other people doing is wise. That being said, um, let me know what you guys think about this subject. Uh, this is something that's been kind of rolling through my head all night because of the school assignment that I had um, that kind of brought up the idea of the difference between wise and smart. Um, let me know what you guys think. Anything you would like to add to this statement that I have made? Uh, any other examples that you can think of? Uh, if you got any suggestions for any other topics you'd like me to do for discussion and rants, let me know in the comments below as well. Um, if you want to check out any of the others that I've done in the past, I'll have a link to that on one of the two sides. Uh, it'll be on the left side, but every time I look at the review of this, half a time it's this side, half a time it's this side, but... Your left side will have the discussion and rant footage, and then the right side will have gameplay. I'm trying to get back into the flow of things. It's taking time, but we'll get there. Someday. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to head off to bed. It's really late, and I really need some rest. So um, that'll be it for me for today. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Click the annotations again to s and click the subscribe button either here or down there or somewhere, depending on what you're watching this on. Uh, and consider subscribing to the channel if you and click that notification bell if you want to see more discussion and rant footage and eh, gaming footage. I put one of these up every week at least, and game footage goes up six times a week. Well, twice every three days-ish. I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to head out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye now.